All right, today I'm gonna write a simple make file. So I'm gonna make a directory here. Hello. Move into the directory. And it's empty, of course. I just created it. And I'm um, gonna... Okay, I've been writing a make file. Hello. Slash make file. There. Uh, first I'm gonna tell you what the executable is gonna be called. Exec hello. Would be a good name for a hello world application. And this and then I'm gonna tell the make file uh, how to build this hello. And it's gonna be built out of object files. Hello.o it's an object file and I just tell them to use GCC as a C compiler. Okay, that's the GNU C compiler. And w uh, make when it uses this implicit rule to build this object file, hello.o, from hello.c, it uses a variable called C flags. C flags. So I'm gonna put some GCC options here. W, W all, that turns on some warning. Uh, and then uh, libs is used when linking, and we're not gonna use any libs. Uh, and ld flags is also used when linking, and uh, we're not gonna link against any libs or anything, so just leave, leave these two empty. And to build this executable, just find the dollar sign, there it is. Exec. Uh, it will depend on the object files, which is only one in this case, which is actually hello.o. And um, to build it, it uses this object file, and boom, here is the command. Use the C compiler, which we define as cc. Alright, and uh, gonna use the link flags, ld flags. And output is a special dollar at at which is this before the colon is dot exec and exec is hello, right? And we uh, obvious compile all object files, which is in this case only hello dot o, and in the end add the libs, which is nothing in this case. But this is a general rule now that will build all kinds of binaries from C files to an exec file. So you actually don't have to write anything more than this. Uh, and if you want to have a clean rule, you can write it like this. First, first tell make it's a phone rule, Cl clean. That means don't care about the dependencies, just run it. So r nothing out after the colon. After the colon comes the dependencies, just write what to do. Remove... Well, you can remove the exec. And remove the object files. And uh, Emacs creates uh, some backup files that ends with tilde to remove that too. And write it, okay. This is a good. I think, is it something missing now? Let's try make. Oh, he doesn't know how to make hello.o. That's because we only have a make file. We actually don't have any hello.c file yet. So let's create it. Hello.c. Okay, just write the basic c file here. Include standard IO and then main. Now I'm on a Mac, so it's a little bit difficult to find this parenthesis. Okay, there it is. Uh, hello world. And the backslash is also difficult, it's on the 7. Yeah. Return. Zero means okay. So that's a very small program that just prints hello world. Maybe you've seen it before. And make. Voila, here GCC was the C compiler. WWO was the C flags. 
and let's switch to the make fan c flex wwo right and then uh, it created hello.u the output output object file from hello.c and that was the implicit rule and then the um, explicit rule to create hello from hello here executes hello from the object files which was only one object file in this case hello.u and use the C compiler again gcc ld flags was empty output hello hello.o and empty lips was empty okay that's exactly what it is you should see empty output hello object files hello.o and it built hello there it is here is the object file and here is the exec executable hello let's run it ah there it is hello world now clean it should remove everything yes only hello.c and make file make build it again ah, clean clean it again all right let's add some c flags g g d b and u zero this means don't optimize and g g d b means put in some uh, debugging information that g d b can use make all right now we see compiled with debugging info all right so now it should be possible to run gcc gdb this is the, the debugger here and from inside the emacs meta x and there's two this only called gdb and one was called good gdb and good actually means god in swedish and i'm feeling pretty good today so i'll use this one okay hello start debugging woohoo here we are and i'm next it goes one line boom hello world return zero all right I just continue till the end and it exited normally all right there have, we have it a basic make file and now if i type make again it does nothing because hello is up to date if i change something kill this if i'll change something here oh actually i didn't change much but the timestamp will change make uh, it will build it again all right make again now it's up to date all right <laughs> it's this is date it's actually inexecutable all right that's how you write a uh, basic make file and this can actually be used just if you have more c files just add the uh, names here and put o, dot o in the end instead of dot c